Hi friends, hello friends, welcome. Welcome if you're new here, if not, welcome back. My name is Jocelyn Revel. I am smack dab in the middle of my 11th year teaching here in Southeast Louisiana. I'm also a wife and a mom to an adorable three-year-old toddler. So it is mid-January, it's still mid-morning. It's a weekend and I'm at school and that never happens. And you're probably like, why are you at school? It's a weekend, contract hours. Yes, but I am, I'm kid free for the time being. My husband works all day and I need to clean my classroom up and I need to get it ready for our new unit that we're starting next week. These are things that I generally would do during the school week, but honestly, it has been a very hectic and chaotic week. So, why was the week? hectic and chaotic. We, Martin Luther King Day, we were off Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, we were off of school because of an Arctic cold front. We had ice on the roads, all that stuff, you know, Southerners. We can barely drive on pavement, baby. Like, you know, we're not driving on ice. And then came to school Thursday, Friday. It's now Saturday. We had another hard freeze last night. So like, it's been, it's been something. This isn't something. So I've got to get my class back in shape because it is a hot mess. And then I want to show you some of the things that are a little bit different around my room. I don't really know if I talked about it last time. I don't know, it's been a minute. So let's, let's play my room, let's play my classroom, let's get stuff done. Can we take a second to appreciate the beauty that is the newly tenant windows? Like the sunlight is not as crazy in here anymore. It's still bright, don't get me wrong, but it is so much better than what it was a month ago. So very thankful for my school to get our windows tinted. Thank the good Lord. talk to you guys while I organize some stuff so if you do amplify you know that like your curriculum stuff is giant my god like I just there's so much stuff that you have oh that's great I just ripped my darn username and password oh, it'll still work no big deal you know that like this is what you put on your walls, they're giant. And I'm fortunate that I have lab, like lab storage tables in my room. And I know that not many people, like I, I'm definitely like a privileged teacher, I get that. Like I know that most people are in older classrooms with very limited storage and, or you have to get your own stuff to store, and I get that. So I'm very, very, very blessed. But I ordered, this is with school money, this is not my money. I ordered 12 by 18, came in a 100 pack. It's like big Ziploc bags to store all of my wall curriculum items. Because honestly, last year I was just learning, I think I was just learning how to use Amplify. That's, that was the goal last year. I'm a lot more comfortable with it this year. Is it still my favorite? Once again, there's 
There's pros and cons to all curriculum, and just real talk, there's some gaps in this curriculum that I have to like supplement teach, but it is what it is. Um, but the hard, hardest part for me was finding a place to keep all of my unit material together so that every year I can just like pull it out, get it prepped, hang it up as I go. And for me, last year it was just kind of all over the place. I'm still learning how to organize myself within this new classroom. But thankfully this year, like I'm getting a lot better. I'm more comfortable. I'm finding ways. I'm being a problem solver, pretty much. So for me, I mean, I have organization videos. Like that's, that's my biggest, Thing. Like I've got to be organized or my brain just truly won't function. So I'm just really proud of myself for having all of my wall curriculum laminated and being able to store it in a place where I can go next year, pull it when I'm ready to use it, and it's all there and I don't have to prep it. I really don't. Like, I know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, it is an absolute pain in the butt to prep this stuff. Like, I spent my entire planning period Friday laminating my Unit 5 stuff, you know? But I keep telling myself that, you know, next year that's one less thing I have to worry about. One less thing I have to do next year. So, you know, that's the only kind of things that keep my little brain going and not shutting down and being all upset with everything that's going on. Speaking of which, I I think, I think maybe last video I gave you an update about Colt. If you don't know, Colt's my three-year-old toddler. I know I kind of talked about the struggles we were having with Colt. in my setup video way back in the summer. So, talked about those little things. August, I think I may have mentioned August, Colt was diagnosed with level two autism spectrum disorder. So we finally got some answers with that, but my booger is doing amazing. He is, he's just the greatest. He's starting therapies like more like extra therapy. We do get speech and OT through the school system, but like we're doing some outside therapies, but we just got a call this past week to look into ABA, which was always an option, but to be on a waiting list in this area, literally like they told us it could take years. So we put his name on a waiting list way back in August and it's now January and we have a call to go and look at the, it was our number one place. So like, I'm excited to go look at it and just to have another option for Colt's future, you know? As of right now, he's starting school next year. So my junior high is connected to an elementary school, our sister's school, and like our, we share our campus. So I can literally, I can look out my nano wall window into my other classroom windows because you know, we have windows everywhere. And I can see the elementary side from here. We don't ever like, we really don't collaborate with elementary school. With the exception of like, we have a mentoring club that like the upper oldest kids do with like the pre-K kids. And then sometimes we like collaborate on campus. Like the school will do things together. But like, I personally, my seventh grade class won't do events with elementary school. But it's exciting that there's a potential to have, something's different about my book. There's a potential to have coat on campus with me next year, which is really exciting. So let's finish up putting things away. I'm not gonna put anything new on the wall because my students are unit testing next week, but I think next week I'll take you guys with me so you can see us finishing up a unit, starting something new. I think that'd be kind of fun, but um, totally not happening right now. But I have one more thing to do. 
Actually, two more things. I need to go make copies, but I don't like being at the school by myself. It's kind of scary. But um, I need to make copies. That's on my to-do list. I've got to clean my tables. I hate cleaning my tables. I absolutely hate cleaning my tables. And my kids use marker boards this week. We were doing Punnett Squares. And so, of course, my tables are absolutely disgusting. So we got to clean that. So let me stop complaining about it. Let me get it done because the quicker I get it done, the faster I can go get some lunch. And I say get some lunch, I mean get some lunch at home and then go pick up my baby who's with his mama right now. It's clean. Just to show you how absolutely disgusting my tables are. Like look at that. That's so gross. So we're gonna clean it on three. One, two, three. Look at that, clean. That's what it should look like, y'all, like, clean tables. I don't like dirt, I really don't. I'm really not kidding when I tell you, like, if I'm not an influencer, never was, never will be, not that kind of person, but if I ever had an opportunity to be sponsored by someone, like I'm telling you, Mrs. Myers, like, like, this is the one. Baby, she can clean my house. She cleans my classroom. She cleans my car. She cleans my life. Like that's, I'm gonna have to name my next kid Meyer. Like I'm not even joking. I freaking love, I love this stuff. It's the only thing that cleans my tables. That's not like a crazy harsh chemical. Cause we do have like the wall stuff that we use to, to clean our whiteboard walls. That really cleans the tables, but like, I don't like the smell of it. But this works. like. She the one. It's about that time. It is time for me to go. I am finished with my room for now. I'm just, I needed to clean it sometimes. You just gotta, gotta get it right. And a lot of kids are sick right now and my room was dirty. So I'm done for this. I'm gonna try to see you guys next week. Try to take you on our first, well actually it's our second full week back from break. Um, since we had all the weather days and whatnot, but I have some exciting things coming up. We have chair clinics and then tryout clinics and tryouts and mid-semester and then it's state testing and it's almost done. So it's going to go by fast, but it is so good to hang out with you guys. I had a good one. I will see you guys. Oh, some just fell. I will see you guys in the next video. I can't wait to see you again. Goodbye.